Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your real tech mic which is not working in your Windows 11 PC. So let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, we'll start with the basic step in which you need to open your settings menu, choose Windows update and if any update is available, make sure you click on download now to make your Windows up to date so that all your drivers will be updated automatically. Second thing is click on the start menu and type run. In run command, type services.msc and hit the enter key. Here, type the W key of your keyboard to find Windows audio service. Double click to open it. If the service status is stopped, click on the start button to start the service at once. And in startup type, make sure it must be automatic. Once it is done, hit OK and close it. Now, if this method fails, click on the start menu again and type control to open control panel in your system. From here, view by, choose the option small icon and click on this sound tab. From here, choose the recording tab and whatever microphone is available in front of you, you need to right click on your device, which means right click on your real tech device and choose the option set as default. Like over here, I have only one device present which is already my default device. If you have more than one device, make sure you right click on your Realtek high definition audio device and choose it as default. Then again click on it and choose the option properties. Here in properties, under the device usage, make sure it must be enabled. And in advanced tab, make sure you uncheck this option, allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Hit apply and OK button. Now open your settings menu. In settings menu, choose privacy and security. Scroll down and find the option of the microphone. Click on it. And here, make sure the microphone access must be turned on. And below are the applications that require your access. So make sure. In whichever application you are using your microphone, it must be turned on using this toggle key. Now, if the problem is still persist, the next method we can do is right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. In device manager, you need to expand your audio input and output devices and here you will find your microphone array. You need to right click on it and choose the option enable device if it is disabled. Over here, it is showing disabled device because this device is already enabled. If it is disabled, you will find the option to enable device right over here. Make sure you enable this device. Nextly, again, right click on this device and choose the option update driver. Choose the first option and again choose second option. Let me pick from the list of available drivers. Here, you need to choose the audio endpoint which is your driver and click on the next button to continue installing driver for your system. Once it is done, go ahead and try to check if the problem is resolved or not. However, if it is still there, the next method you can do is to itself in the device manager, scroll down and you need to find the same system devices. You need to expand system devices and over here find a name with the name high definition audio controller. You need to right click on it and choose the option update driver. Again choose second option and this time also choose let me pick from a list of available drivers. Now choose high definition audio controller as your device and click on the next button to continue installing driver. Once these drivers are installed as it is saying that you must restart your system to make it work. So go ahead and restart your system to make the hardware work out for you. However, after restarting, all the method fail. The last option you are left with is to install the drivers using the official web website. This website I'll share you in the description of this video. You need to scroll down and choose your type of Windows, either it's 32 bit or 64 bit. I have a 64 bit Windows 10, so here is my Windows 10 driver downloadable file which is of 258 MB. Click on this download button to get the download link. Scroll down. 
accept terms and conditions and click on the link. Solve the captcha. And hit the go button to get the download link. Save it in your system. It's over around 252 MB, which is dot exe extension, which means you can install it by using or simply double clicking on this file, just like you install any program or any software in your system. Once you execute this file, install this file in your system, restart your PC, and check this time your problem will be fully fixed out. So these are the best possible ways to fix out your issue regarding Realtek might not working. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.